Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to make it very clear that the way things are moving and converging right now like never before, Jesus Christ could come at any moment to rapture his church. However, today I want to discuss an incredible sign in the heavens that is coming up on April 8th of this year, 2024. I think when you look at the facts and what the Bible says about signs in the heavens, you will see very clearly that God is speaking loud and clear and shaking this world and saying, wake up, wake up. Jesus is coming and the tribulation period is about to commence. For those that like to say that God does not use signs in the heavens to communicate with us here on the earth, the Bible says differently. And how do you think the wise men were led to Bethlehem, to where the baby Jesus was born? They were led right to him by the star of Bethlehem. And also in the book of Genesis chapter 1, the very story of creation, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, we read the following. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. In the book of Psalms chapter 19, verse 1, we read the following. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. And in the book of Luke chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, the Lord Jesus Christ is telling his disciples the things that would precede his second coming, which is at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. In Luke chapter 21, verse 25 to 28, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. That brings me to what I want to share with you guys today. This is absolutely incredible. This is recently in from my friends over at Prophecy News Watch. They recently uh, put out this article titled, 14 Things to Know About the Great American Eclipse of 2024. Let me read some of this to you guys. We are just a little bit more than three months away from what many believe will be the most dramatic total solar eclipse in U.S. United States history. It is being called the Great American Eclipse of 2024, and millions of Americans will take time off in order to travel so that they can personally see it. Between now and April, the mainstream news will be filled with stories about this eclipse, and so it is going to be difficult for anyone to ignore what is going on. I am going to share 14 things that everyone needs to know about the Great American Eclipse of 2024. Number one, it is a total solar eclipse that will occur on April 8th, this April, April 8th of 2024. Number two, the path of the eclipse will travel through portions of the states of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Number three, the path of the eclipse will also travel through parts of Mexico and Canada. Number four, it is projected that this eclipse will be the most viewed astronomical event in the entire history of our country. That's insane. Number five, according to the Washington Post, more than 30 million Americans will simply be able to walk outside of their homes and experience this eclipse. Number six, we are told that this eclipse will be the single biggest mass travel event of 2024. Number seven, those that are in the direct path of the eclipse will discover that the air temperature suddenly becomes approximately 10 degrees cooler once the moon is fully blocking the sun. Number eight, the path 
of the great American eclipse of 2024 will cross the United States on the very first day of the year on the Hebrew calendar. So uh, April 8th, going into April 9th of this year, 2024, falls on Nisan 1, which is the very first day of the year on the Hebrew calendar. Number nine, if you put the path of the great American eclipse of 2024, the path of the ring of fire solar eclipse of October 14th of 2023, which we just saw a couple months ago, and the path of the great American eclipse of 2017, which was seven years ago, all on a map, you can see it right out here. If you zoom in, if you look on the map here, you can see the total solar eclipse of 2017, the eclipse of last year, 2023 in the eclipse, total solar eclipse coming up here on April 8th of 2024, they combine to form a giant paleo Hebrew Aleph over America. In case you're wondering what Aleph is, Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and Tav is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And we're going to talk about why that's significant here in a second. Number 10, if you just put the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024 and the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2017 on a map, you can see it right here on the screen here, it makes a complete X, X marks the spot, uh, they combine to form a giant Paleo-Hebrew Tav over America. If you remember on the first map I showed you, that forms the Aleph, and again, the Aleph is the first letter of of the Hebrew alphabet. On the map I just showed you, it forms the Tav, which is the last letter in the Hebrew alphabet. Why is this significant? Well, when you go to the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 13, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Kind of reminds you of uh, Aleph and the Tav, the first and the last. Number 11, the heart of the Paleo-Hebrew Tav forms a giant X that falls directly over the New Madrid fault zone. Again, X marks the spot. And when you look at the Great American Eclipse of 2017 and the Great American Eclipse coming up here in a couple months on April 8th of 2024, it forms a perfect X that intersects right over the New Madrid fault Number 12, we have seen a giant X like this before. The path of a solar eclipse that occurred on June 16th of 1806 combined with the path of a solar eclipse that occurred on September 17th of 1811 to also form a giant X over the New Madrid fault zone. And that brings me to number 13. Three months after the solar eclipse that happened on September 17th of 1811, a series of absolutely enormous earthquakes began to happen on the New Madrid Fault. Number 14, the next total solar eclipse visible from the United States will not happen until 2044, and the path of that total solar eclipse will only touch three states. I mean, folks, this is absolutely incredible. What exactly does it mean? We can't be dogmatic and say for sure what this means, but make no mistake about it. This is a sign in the heavens. The fact that you had the Great American Eclipse of 2017, you now have the Great American Eclipse coming up on 2024 on April 8th, just here in a couple months. They're seven years apart, which is incredible because we know the tribulation period is going to last for seven years. And the fact we have seen a giant X like this before, the path of the solar eclipse that occurred on June 16th, 1806, that combined with the path of a solar eclipse that occurred on September 17th, 1811, to also form a giant X like this over the New Madrid fault zone. And then three months after the solar eclipse that happened on September 17th of 1811, a series of absolutely enormous earthquakes began to happen on the New Madrid fault. What does this sign in the heavens mean on April 8th of 2024? Is it a sign to the United States of America that judgment is coming since it forms that X right over the New Madrid fault? Or is it a sign 
that the seven year tribulation period is about to commence, which means the rapture of the church is even closer. We can't be dogmatic and say we know for sure what this sign in the heavens means, but we're gonna be watching. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real, the Bible is alive. Jesus is real, Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down he would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.